Anderson. I write, I do poetry, um, I do social or digital media marketing, and um, that's basically me. So I love writing, and a lot of people think I'm lazy, so that was where lazy writer came from. I think sometime in 2013 I needed a name for my blog. That's where I put my poetry, my write-up and stuff. So um, everyone calls me Liz, so and I love writing. So one or two things came together and I came up with Liz Writer. So I removed the ER and decided to stick with that A at the end. So to make it unconventional. I don't see that it's fun for me because um, you can actually work from anywhere. So you can, as long as you are online, the most that's the most important thing. You can work from anywhere. So it's very fun for me because it's something I love doing, and I have a couple of people who assist me. Too. So we kind of work together to make it work. Um, okay, I think that started. Okay, I used to be on. Um, Twitter to be funny. Okay, a lot of people thought I was actually funny. So um, I think sometime in 2012, um, an agency, okay, because I had a lot of followers on Twitter, I think about 60,000 or so then. So I think an agency in Lagos contacted me and they were like, oh, how much are you going to charge to put up a particular post on your page? And I'm like, oh, wow, you're going to pay me to do this. And they are like, yeah. And I said, okay, I'm a Tifuza man. They are like, fine, let's do this. And they kept on coming back and coming back. So um, I wanted to know more about that. So I went online, I did my research, I asked questions, I took courses and gradually I got better. And here we are. Um, it's been good, it's been rewarding, it's been fun because um, for me, I could stay home Monday to Friday if I choose to, I don't have to go to any office. I don't have to say yes sir, yes boss to anybody. It's fun basically and like I said it's rewarding so why not? Mm, no, I don't really see it that way. Because I think um, a lot of people think once you have like maybe 10-20 thousand followers online, okay you can you can sell stuff, you can call yourself a social media marketer. But the thing is um, there's actually a difference. I think someone with like a thousand or two thousand followers can be an influencer. So people, that is when brands or uh, individuals, they pay you to actually talk about their product or service. So you can be an influencer, but that doesn't necessarily make you a digital or social media strategist. And also the brands who have been there, like they know who the real people are. Because credibility and over time, yeah, if you've been able to build your career over time, they would always give you that recognition. No, 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 no. I, uh, you don't need to have a particular amount of social media followers. You could have um, 5,000 followers and they are very active and your engagement rate is high. The most important thing is your engagement. Your followers or whoever your market reaches, they have to be interactive. If they can engage with you, that is all the client wants. That is all people want. They want to convert. Yeah, they are very interested in ROI. That is return on investment. So that's very important. So even if you have a thousand followers and you can convert those 1,000 followers into sales or whatever it is their goal is, you are doing well. No, in 2010, I was just one broke job less, but <laughs> so, um, yeah, it has helped my life in a lot of ways. I have a career thanks to social media, and um, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of brands, I know, I know celebrities, I get to, I get invited to all the pool parties in town, okay, like for a lot of years, like I don't think there's any event I can't get an invite to if I want, and I don't have to buy tickets for events. It's fun, basically all fun <laughs> well um i okay there's no specific as in we cut across all every brand every service individuals music artists celebrities everybody the what we do is basically disseminate information that is um 
connect the brand with the consumer or try to pass messages across so that's basically what we do so like anybody can need that service even you so if you want to pass a message across to some people we connect you with your audience it's very simple uh, we do it in the most creative way possible in a way that those people we will be convinced that, okay, we need to do this, we need to listen to this, we need to watch this and stuff like that. I don't think there's any major brand I'm yet to work with, like the insurance companies, the banks, the, um, the drinks, soft drinks, and the alcoholics, and multi-choice, and the rest. A lot of them, actually. Yes, yes, a lot of times. Um, probably, maybe you can't. In some instance, instances, maybe I can't meet their ROI, that their return on investment. I can't guarantee they are going to gain this amount of followers or get this level of exposure, or they are asking for too much, or maybe it's against my own views like politics and all that. Yeah. I think that was way back in 2012. I was getting paid 10k per week to put up tweets on my timeline. Um, it actually varies between. Um, <laughs> it varies honestly. No, there are a lot of there are a lot of things you have to put into consideration before giving a brand your price or something. But we do have regular ad rates, and um, I think sometimes that could go between a hundred and a hundred and fifty thousand a week, depending on what exactly the person wants. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, I'll have to ask and get back to you. I have no idea, honestly. But I don't think I'm not. A, I'm not about the life of the party. It doesn't mean I attend parties 24 7. I just get to attend the important events, the one where most, la most times I get paid to attend so, and um, good up stuff. So most times those are the ones I attend. I probably won't be in Nigeria, but <laughs> I'll probably be pushing a career outside Nigeria, like a full time profession, like say, I'm thinking of writing. I have a book of unpublished poetry. So and I'm thinking of writing the book of short stories too. So I'm working on one already. I have a couple of stories. So I'm putting them together. But the reading culture in Nigeria is very poor. Nobody's going to buy your books. So you have to find other means of income. Um, no, I think um, this is just the beginning. Um, maybe eventually we might have, it might get stricter. We we'll have a lot of rules that will limit the kind of interactions we have presently and all that. Because um, take the recent example of um, kind of problems Twitter and Facebook are having with the Russian interference in the American election and all that. So there will be stricter rules and the internet will get tighter and all that. But still, I don't think the internet is living any time soon. Um, I just do my thing. I just the most important thing is to keep interaction, and um, I try to be funny too. So, and I try to post content that I think my followers will like, and it works for me. It works for me. It's easier to gain more followers when you already have a lot of followers, because when people follow you, um, you easily get suggested to their own click and all that. So, it works for me. Um, well, I uh, don't know, but I think Twitter is clamping down on bots. Yeah, like the recent example I gave, the Russian election and all that. Uh, so they even clamped down on stuff like TweetDeck and all recently. So they are clamping down on bots. So if you're buying followers or you're buying retweets or you're buying whatever, this is a really, really bad time. You could have your account suspended or taken down like permanently. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. But I use Twitter the most. Yeah, because real time, rapid burst of engagement, instantly. You get instant interaction. 
Um, okay, the most important thing I think nowadays is to find a niche. You can't be like random like us. So, because when I started, I think I was like the kind of first generation kind of. So, I, if you're starting now, you have to find a niche. You can't just be general. You can't just say, "Oh, I want to be a social media influencer." Um, I think there are people there already. People with a lot of followers, a lot of influence. They connect and all that. So, no, nobody's probably going to listen to you. You have to do something unique, something that will stand out. So, my first advice to people is always find a niche. If you love food, if you love football, if you love videography, just find that particular thing, stick to it, follow people around that particular niche, learn more about that particular niche. When people need an influencer, even if you have 500 followers, when people are talking about, oh, I'm looking for an influencer who knows football, they'll always be like, oh, this person is very knowledgeable when it comes to football, and they'll find you. Amazing. I, I do everything generally though, so um, I'm not I'm not stuck with a particular niche. Hi, my name is Lazy Writer. I am a social media influencer and I am live at Broadway TV. Don't switch.